Welcome back to Rescue Bots Academy Season 2. Today we're taking a look at Episode 10, My Favorite Rescue. In this episode, each of the recruits try to pick their favorite rescue mission, but they end up getting them all jumbled together. It's interesting how in the first sim, Wedge seems to demonstrate a fear of sharks, but in the episode All at Sea, he didn't seem to be that afraid of them. Stop! We can't hurt the shark. He's just protecting his home. Although he does once again reference his fear of heights. World's favorite rescue involves saving animals from meteors, which sounds pretty ridiculous, but is actually in line with her love of animals. As the last time the recruits had the opportunity to pick a rescue sim, she wanted to do one in a zoo, if I recall correctly. I know what location I'm going to pick when I win. A rescue in a zoo. Maddox's favorite rescue is about giving first aid to a bee farmer. The bees! Not the bees! Although the recruits are robots, why are they scared of bees? The bees can't sting them, they're made of metal. Also, I think the sim needs to be checked for bugs. This is clearly a pig pen, so why is there a cow in it? Shouldn't this be a pig instead? Also, poop joke. Worst hiding place ever! It's interesting that Hoist picks the rescue sim with the dragon. For one thing, aren't dragons awfully similar to dinosaurs? I mean, we've seen a dinosaur turn into a dragon in the form of Beast Wars Megatron. Yes. So does this mean that Hoist is over his fears of dinosaurs and dinobots? Or are dragons okay because they're not real? What? Also, it's a nice callback that they recognize that this is one of the rescue missions that they've done before. And honestly, I think that this was probably one of my favorite rescue sims too, just because, well, dragons are cool. <gasps> Do you think the Academy would let us have a pet dragon? No, it would not. Likewise, Wedge picks the rescue sim on planet Parvis, which was the planet where they had to save the Galax plant creature in the episode The Big Small Rescue. But in this sim, they have to dig out a flying saucer, which looks like an homage to Cosmos, just like the one we saw a few episodes ago in Heatwave's shiny coat. After the recruits fight over the controls, they end up breaking the simulator and mixing up the rescues. The meteors are replaced with falling submarines, and the sharks sound like bees. I'm kind of disappointed that the bees and sharks didn't get fused together into some kind of fusor. You know, maybe like some kind of relative of injectors. So the recruits all help to fix the broken controller and put the simulation back to normal. Sort of. We come in peace. Bye bye. Yeah. This was a great episode. I always like it when they mess with the simulator and go outside the bounds of a normal boring rescue mission. This episode also kind of reminded me of that one episode of Reboot where they mix up a couple games together. Actually, I think there was more than one episode of Reboot where they kind of did that. I really wish they didn't constantly reuse the same credits in these episodes, because I really want to know who the voice of the Flying Saucer, aka Cosmos, was. I mean, Bumblebee and Blades weren't even in this episode. I want to say that maybe it was the same voice as Whirl? That's my guess. Agreed. It doesn't matter what we do as long as we do it together. We come in peace. Bye bye. Oh well, this was still a fun episode. What about you? What did you think about My Favorite Rescue? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all that other fun stuff. And join me next time when we'll be checking out Season 2, Episode 11, The Great Energon Rush. See you then. You cowpokes, holler if you need me, you hear? Is he having voice circuit problems? Me, Grimlock, have same problems sometimes. Eh, eh, he said it!